Hey guys, so today is hitch day for the SCX-10. So this is going to fit in underneath here, and that's going to give me a hitch for the truck. So anyhow, I need to kind of take this apart again to be able to get it into there, you know, because you got to get it into the frame. Hoping that this isn't in the way. Really hoping that it isn't. Looks like it's kind of built to go somewhere about here, I'm guessing because it's got a bit of a recess there so it looks like it's supposed to avoid that hopefully I can fit her in here heck maybe I can just take this uh, rear part out and just slide her in well, let's see what I can get into alrighty so screw here on both sides and then a screw on the underside here for the battery tray as you can see it's now loose and then this just pops right out of course uh, not exactly one handed as it's now down on the floor <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, girlfriend. So, see, this slides over the rails. And then, if I can get the other side in here. Man, this is not easy doing uh, single handedly. I think I'm going to resort to the tripod. There we go, that's a lot more stable. So, there we go, we're going to get this over top on both sides here. Come on. She's a little finicky. Hmm, why is that being so tough? But, I don't know, it's going. So then the next here is this has a groove. <laughs> kind of uh, interesting to line up both sides at the same time. There we go. So that's in there now. And see there is room down here to get this rear mount back in. Hmm. I don't remember if this was like this or if it was the other way. I'm guessing like this. And then I can still get that screw in there. So that should work for me. So get this uh, rear part in here and situated. Hmm. I think I gotta tighten this up here first though before I can do that because there's no way to get my screwdriver in there and tighten that up. But now like that's already sitting in there nice and firm like that is not going to go anywhere I'm really liking this hitch and uh, from the sounds of a few guys on the uh, Alberta RC group they have it too and they really like it so I'm going to pull it out and tighten it up again stick her back in okay so there we go it's all tightened up and stuff now it wasn't too hard but everything is solid tight except for this and that's because I'm not sure if I'm be keeping this or not. Uh, it depends on if uh, it fits in there right or not. So anyhow, I'm gonna go and get it back in, about up to here. So uno momento, and there we go. So it's nicely installed. Now I just gotta figure out which way this one goes and get it back in here. See this little peg sticks into this little hole here, and then a normal screw goes through there, and that gets around there good and tight. So. Uh, I just got to check to see which one it is. I'll get this back in here, and then luckily the screw goes through the other side here, goes through the top of the battery tray, which was just a flat head screw, like a flat recessed type screw. So nothing too bad. And there you go, it's officially done. It's in there, it is installed. Uh, I just haven't done those up because, you know, just debating about which hitch style go with that or if I gotta make something up for the other hitch. So anyhow to do this project you will need a 564 for this screw here, this screw here, same screw on this other side and for doing up the screws on the side of the hitch itself. Um, you will also need um, a 332nd for doing, I don't know if it'll show very well, but on the, see these poles here that go from side to side that one there you need a 332nd for because it's bigger hardware so it's in here it's mounted it's very close clearance like you can see right here that peg and goes around the back side where this screw goes through so it is not going to move that is in there like you would not believe so makes the battery tray a little firmer I think too oh well it's not like battery really gets to move around a lot anyhow um, I am going to try to find some kind of a trailer thing for it though and I think I just gotta put a trailer ball in there and I should be good for that side 
But uh, that'll be it for this hitch install. Next I'll be working on getting my trailer and getting it going and having it behind here. And it's going to be a huge trailer. Trust me. Wait until you see it. So next time, guys, see ya. Mm -hmm.